what's going on so we just received this package in the mail from Josh's frogs I'm super pumped about this um, so I've been buying plants from Josh's frogs for over I want to say two and a half three years now um, and I absolutely love the quality and quantity of their plants um, and I decided to do this tank for a new animal that I've never kept before summer has um, so I reached out to them and we discussed what would be best for this particular tank. Well, and we're going to get started in here. So we're going to open this bad boy up. I'm super excited to welcome these guys to the zoo. Alright, so right off the bat, I'm go ahead and open these little dudes up. So pumped about this. So something really cool I love about Josh's Frogs, guys, every time you order something. Oh, cool, they sent me a little sticker. Look at that. How dope is that? I can add that to the toolbox. So they always give you care sheets on every single thing um, that they send you, whether it be plants, uh, isopods, um, a wine voucher, all types of stuff. Hey, shaving kit. Anyway, so all that aside, remove the styrofoam. So this is a heat pack. So pretty cool actually. I'm pretty sure this is biodegradable. Yeah, look at that. All you gotta do is dump it out. Pretty cool. But, oh, oh wait, there's more. There's a gel pack, which is uh, to help maintain the temperature in there. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, let's see coming right off the rip right here we got ourselves a culture so this if you don't know is a uh, fruit fly culture so that kind of gives you an idea of what's next what's to come so dude check these little guys out so hang on there's one there's two Oh wait, there's more. There's three. And there is four. So dope. Just make sure there's nothing else in here. There's another gel pack. There's a fruit fly. Alright, cool. Boom. Four awesome little dart frogs. I don't even see this one. Oh, there he is. So he is right. There, you can kind of see that one. This one's right on top there, jumping around. Let's see, you can kind of see him there. So, we now have four little dart frogs. We're gonna get these guys set up in the tank and then we'll go ahead and talk about them a little bit more. Look at this tank, it's growing in so nice i absolutely love it so everything is coming along got resurrection fern here um, but almost everything in this vivarium is from josh's frogs um with the exception of like the resurrection fern and some of the moss and stuff like that but so pumped you can get all these bromeliads on josh's frogs all the ferns you can get moss from them as well but man so pumped to put these little guys in this awesome vivarium that I built for dart frogs here at the zoo. So again, I did talk with Josh's frogs um, for about a week to kind of figure out what would be the best uh, frogs for this enclosure and this is what we came up with. Okay, sorry, I had to get a pair of little cutters to open the tape here. So these are French Guiana yellow dart frogs. So obviously with them being frogs, I want to be very careful to not touch them. But I do want them to kind of hop out here. There's one. And of course these guys are itty bitty tiny little guys right now. They are 
going to grow quite a bit, so I'm gonna have to change the lenses here in a minute to get you guys some better footage, but the reason why we went with these guys is because they are climbers and they do really well in this type of environment. Whoop. So that's two. Now I don't know, um, you can't really sex these guys until they're older. I don't know, you know, if these are male or female. Hopefully there will be at least a pair in here um, out of the four. But again, not 100% sure on this. There's another one, and last but not least, number four here. He's all the way in the bottom. Wanna come out there, little buddy? Oh, they're on the glass, it's so dope. All right, so I'm gonna close this up for right now, and I'm gonna switch mm -hmm. to the macro lens. So it's been about a week, a little over a week actually, and let me tell you, these things are so incredibly hard to film. I thought I filmed some difficult animals before, but nothing compares to brand new little dart frogs. They would freeze every time they saw the camera, but it's really cool. One of them sleeps in this bromeliad up here, two of them sleep up here, or down here I should say, in this bigger vermilion, and then one sleeps up there in the fern. It's awesome, I love it. I, every night I can come in to make sure that all four of them are in their little sleeping areas. They're all eating fantastically, I absolutely love them. So a huge thank you to Josh's Frogs. Again guys, all their stuff will be in the description below. Um, I mean, the way they ship these animals, these animals were shipped out and to my house in less than 24 hours. Cannot honestly be so thrilled about how fast these animals got here. I mean, you guys saw the way they were packed and everything, they were so safe, it was fantastic. So absolutely love that. Um, again, huge thank you to Josh's Frogs for these amazing animals. Uh, I'm so happy that we have these now here at the zoo. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, subscribe if you're not already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video, like always. Huge thank you to my amazing Patreons. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You guys will get an update on this tank and on these amazing little frogs here in the next couple of weeks. Again, big thank you to Josh's Frogs. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.